Hello friends, welcome to my channel Instrument Calibration. In last video, I showed you how to prepare salt solution for calibration of humidity transmitter. In this video, I will show you how to do the calibration of Vashala humidity transmitter HMT360. First of all, what types of salt solution do we need in order to calibrate Vashala humidity transmitter? In this video, I will show you two-point calibration method. So, I need lithium chloride salt solution and sodium chloride salt solution. Lithium chloride generates reference humidity of approximately 11% of RH, and it is normally used as dry and or offset references. And sodium chloride generates reference humidity of approximately 75% of RH, and it is normally used as wet end or gain references. There are two types of calibration methods. First method is auto calibration method and second method is manual calibration method. In this video, I will show you step by step procedure of manual calibration method. HMT360 transmitter has 8 internal dip switches, which is located inside housing board. Each dip switch has different function. For example, calibration mode can be enabled or disabled by using internal dip switch number 2. I want to perform calibration. So I will put dip switch number 2 in enable or up position. And I want to perform relative humidity calibration. So I will put dip switch number 3 to enable position and dip switch number 4 to disable position. You can also select temperature and analog by selecting different dip switches combination. First of all, I do low end adjustment. So, I remove the filter and insert the probe into a measurement hole of the dry end reference chamber of lithium chloride salt solution. Now, press button C to ignore the automatic adjustment procedure. The humidity reading measured by the transmitter appears on the display, and you can see the text set low on the lower left hand corner side of the display. In this step, you have to be patient and wait 10 to 15 minutes till humidity values stabilize. When humidity value stabilized, use up and down key to adjust display reading to 11% RH. After this press enter button to accept this value. After having made low end adjustment, I will do high end adjustment. So, I insert probe into measurement hole of sodium chloride salt chamber in the humidity calibrator. Please make sure that the difference between two humidity references must be at least 30% RH. You can see the humidity reading measured by transmitter on the display, and you can also see text set high on the lower left hand corner side of the display. Now, Wait 10 to 15 minutes till humidity value stabilize. When humidity value stabilized, use up and down key to adjust display reading to 75% RH. After this press enter button to accept this value. If calibration is passed, cal pass message appears on the screen. When cal pass message appears on the screen, Restore dip switch settings to its normal position. In other words, put internal dip switch number 2 and switch number 3 in disable or off position. Thank you friends for watching this video. I hope you like this video. Please give your feedback in comment section.